what is going on guys welcome back to another swift video in today's video we're going to learn how to prompt a rating for your app to the user uh, with some apple built-in functionality so here we are on the apple development uh, documentation website and there's this function we can call uh, request review off of the store kit framework so we're gonna talk about how to use it and then also some good practices uh, that are adopted by almost every single app out there. So before we get started, uh, something they call out in the docs is when you call this function, it doesn't actually always prompt a app store review uh, because obviously people can misuse the function quite a bit. So Apple actually describes here when you're in development, uh, the prompt will always show up. However, when your app is in production, uh, downloaded from the app store, this function essentially requests to the app store, hey, please show my uh, rating uh, star prompt, but it's not guaranteed to show, and that's mainly to avoid misuse. So that said, make sure you destroy the like button as always. If you're a returning viewer, hit subscribe if you haven't done so already, and let's dig in. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We'll stick with a single view application and I'm gonna go ahead and call this rating prompt. And let's go ahead and create it, save it to our desktop for now, which is perfectly fine. And let's see, we're gonna be working in the view controller before we even actually write any of our code. Let me pick a simulator from up here and just run it so it's nice and ready for us to uh, develop. So let me go ahead and pick the eight and hit that run button and expand our Xcode window to get some more room to work in here. All right, we got the simulator right there and we are good to go. So Right off the bat, the first thing we'll look at is how do you actually present a rating prompt? And for those of you who haven't seen the rating prompt, uh, it's basically what you see on this video's thumbnail where you see your app, you see five stars the user can choose from, uh, they can cancel it, as well as there's an option for them to write a actual review uh, and not just submit stars. And basically the functionality is baked into a framework that Apple provides and it's called StoreKit. And StoreKit basically allows you to interface with the App Store. So let's start first and foremost by creating a button on our view controller's view. And when we tap on said button, we're going to call the StoreKit function to show the prompt. So let me go and create this button. Let's return it. Let's set a title for it. Uh, rate now. Normal. And let me also set a nice background color to this guy. Let's also set a title color of white and we'll also make this normal. And let's add this as a sub view, like so. And let me also give this guy a frame. So button.frame, we're gonna say it's a CG rect with the X, Y width and height. We'll say width is uh, 200, height is 55. And we're gonna center this button. So we'll say button.center is view.center. And then of course, when we tap on the button, we want something to occur. So we're gonna say add target self. Uh, action is did tap button, which will create momentarily. And the event is touch up inside. Let's come down here and expose a function to objective C so it can serve as a selector and define did tap button. So let me go ahead and hit command R to build and run and we should see our button pop up in the center just like that. Beautiful. So now when we tap on this, we wanna present a review. 
One thing I'll call out before writing the next bit of code is sometimes StoreKit doesn't like to work on the simulator. So you might have to run to the device to actually see the prompt. So we'll go through the code and we'll see if, uh, if the simulator decides to be helpful today. So basically the way you present a prompt is you say SK store review controller. Whoops, I just saw it there. Review controller. And there is a static function on here called request review. And uh, you can basically say request review and it takes one parameter in, which is the current scene. And this is UI window scene. So we're gonna say view dot window dot window scene. And we can actually unwrap this beforehand because it is in fact a optional. So we'll say guard let scene is that. Go ahead and return and we pass in scene like that. And let me put a print in here just in case we hit this when we attempt to run this in a second. Go ahead and hit command R to build and run. And let me open up this console here so we can see any logs that we print out. And when we hit this, you see we get this prompt here. Look at that, it actually decided to work. So once again, on the simulator, this pops up every single time. In a actual application, it's not the case. So you don't necessarily want to uh, always show it this way because it's not guaranteed to show. So we'll talk about that in a second. But this is the window that I was talking about where it says enjoying your project name you can tap a star, and if this was a prod application, you can submit it, and uh, you can, of course, cancel it, and that's how you present it. Fairly straightforward. Now let's talk about some good practices. So the first good practice is when you request a review from the user, if you think about what you're doing is you wanna get feedback, and ideally you wanna structure it in a way where if the user is not happy, AKA they're gonna give you one or two stars, you probably want a feedback report that doesn't impact your app store rating. If the user is happy four or five, that's gonna boost your app store rating four or five stars. So it's, it's perfectly okay for them to uh, go ahead and submit that to the app store. So a popular approach is doing something as follows. So we're gonna create an alert, which is an alert controller with a title, message, and a style. Style will be an alert. Title will be uh, enjoying, uh, and then your app name. So we call this rating prompt, or you can actually even call this something like feedback. Are you enjoying the app? And we're gonna add three options to this alert. The first one's going to be a uh, cancel action. So we're gonna say cancel, style will be cancel, handler is nil, and you might actually just wanna call this dismiss. And let me go ahead and copy and paste this twice and change the types to default and default. First one will be yes, I love it. Second one, or third one will be no, this sucks. And each of these needs a handler. So we're gonna say underscore in because it takes a parameter. And in the case where the user says they love the application, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is move this code to present the prompt in here. And we need to explicitly add a self uh, optional right there and capture weak self because we don't wanna cause a retain cycle. So in the case where the user likes your app, of course you should show the rating prompt. So they can uh, you know, submit four or five stars to the app store, hopefully, and that'll you know, let other users know that uh, it's a great app and they should download it as well. In the case of uh, no, this sucks, what you wanna do is collect feedback. So instead of having the user submit one or two stars and complain on the app store page, what's probably more useful for A, the user, but also you be the developer is if they contacted you directly and they let you know, hey, this is something that's giving me an issue, can you fix it for me, right? That's more constructive for every party involved. So in here, you can do one of two things, right? You can, let me first go ahead and close my pop-up that always likes to make an appearance. Uh, you can uh, prompt user to email you 
And this is another framework that's built in. You can actually do this right in your app using the default mail app. We won't actually implement it since it's a little off topic. Or uh, you can open Safari to your contact page. So both of these approaches are totally okay. And the takeaway here is uh, when the user is happy, get those stars. When they're not, get that constructive feedback so you can improve your app. And finally, before we run it, we of course want to present our alert. Uh, animated is going to be true and we can hit command R. And when you hit this, you get something along the lines of this. So yes, I love it. We'll get the stars. No, this sucks. Nothing happens for now because we're going to collect some, some good old feedback from our user here. So you might have also seen, uh, there's a framework out there which is very popular called Apparator. And Apparator essentially does the same thing under the hood with some other features. And Apparator, you can install through a CocoaPod or other ways. And that was uh, created a long time ago, actually. And it was there before Apple introduced this store kit prompt right in your app. But uh, collecting user feedback is pretty vital to any application's success uh, on the App Store, right? You want to have good reviews. You want to have a good volume of reviews. You should never be buying or paying for reviews. So this is truly an organic way to uh, collect feedback. The last thing I'll mention before we wrap up here is having a button or maybe in a, a way to get to a rating from your about page is perfectly fine. But ideally, you want to show a user a prompt for the uh, App Store review uh, in a place that's more natural in your app. So let's say it's a banking app and the user goes ahead and they make a successful transfer. Maybe you want to show it then, right? Put it in a place where the user is most likely to want to give feedback. Don't be one of those people that requests feedback as soon as you open your app. Nobody likes it. You're going to get one star. Don't do it. Um, and yeah. and uh, I did mention that this prompt is not always guaranteed. So someone is definitely going to ask, well, what happens when you hit this and this prompt doesn't show up? So uh, one approach is uh, basically cache to user defaults that you've already shown this once. And if you have, what you can do is you can just open the App Store page directly with a UI application shared. And there is an open on here, which can open a URL. And the URL is basically going to be uh, to your App Store page on Safari, and it will deep link into the App Store. That way, you can always guarantee that your app rating shows up either in your app or you get the user to the right place. So that's about it. That's how you can present this App Store rating in your app. Uh, I threw a lot of content as you, at you guys, uh, some good practices. But hopefully, that was uh, helpful, and you guys leverage it to, uh, you know, improve your app ratings. Uh, if you haven't destroyed the like button already, make sure to do so. Hitting like really helps out the video and the channels at large. Um, and comment down below if you've got any questions, any feedback. I uh, just want to say hi. If you have a video suggestion, I love hearing from all of you. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I think something like 50% of you guys aren't subscribed that watch these videos uh, pretty much daily. So hitting subscribe, uh, you know, lets YouTube know that uh, the channel should be pumped up to more viewers and it keeps me motivated to uh, create more videos for all of you. So enough of me going on and on. That's all I've got for you today. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.